All right, gonna do a part four to my video series showing the best and my personal favorite cartoons of the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad, the uh, Baal worshiping moon, moon god idolater that he was. And like I said before in my other videos, this is not necessarily an endorsement of the artists of these cartoons, because some of them very well could just be some godless, wicked atheist. You never know. But the cartoon itself is what is given the message of truth about the false prophet Muhammad, regardless of, of the views of the artist who could very well again be a very uh, a just a godless liberal atheist but let's get right into the cartoons here's the first one uh of muhammad and it basically is him in a, in a pig body with a time bomb with a suicide vest because that's the truth about muhammad is that and i think the pig is a very accurate depiction because uh in luke chapter 8 or uh, i think it was no sorry mark chapter 5 i do apologize where no actually no it was luke chapter 8 and also mark chapter 5 where jesus casts uh devils out of a man and they go into a swine they go into basically a herd of pigs and muhammad was just simply swine for satan when you get down to it you know figuratively speaking yeah i believe with luke 8 and mark chapter 5 I don't have the exact verse off the top of my head but that's the truth right there and his suicide vest because that's the thing about islam too it's, it's basically death worship and proverbs 8 verse 36 all that they hate me love death that's what god says that cartoon is very scripturally and historically accurate here's the next cartoon this is uh, Muhammad basically taking a uh, whiz on the freedom of speech and the Quran is just having blood coming out because that's the truth, that's the fact of the matter as well, is that uh, there is no freedom of speech in Islam or in, in most false religion in general, like Judaism, Hinduism, atheism, uh, communism, which is just atheism, Roman Catholicism, etc. There is no freedom of speech and freedom of expression. And the bloodshed that was commanded by the Quran is carried out when someone tries to draw a picture of their false prophet. Like you see stuff uh, like some over in Europe, and again, not saying I always endorse these artists because a lot of them could just be some liberal, you know, some godless liberal. But the truth of the matter is that in order to attack freedom of speech, bloodshed occurs, and it's just basically them taking a a, a whiz on freedom of speech because that's Islam. Islam is a totalitarian. Uh, basically, yeah, it's just like Roman Catholicism. It's a false religion that's theocratical and denies any kind of freedom of speech. Here's the next cartoon. Once again, depicting Muhammad as swine for Satan, obviously. Uh, because again, you know, Mark 5, Luke 8. And here's him writing his Quran, which is kind of funny because he couldn't even read and write. So uh, they call it automatic writing to where a devil takes control of you and has you write it or tells you what to write. That's pretty much Muhammad. He was a devil-possessed, perverted, false prophet. And here is the final cartoon in this, for this video is uh, someone drawing a picture of him and he's over the shoulder with a sword because again that's the truth in that there is no free speech in islam and islam is so peaceful they'll actually kill you if you say that muhammad is you know is a violent was basically a violent p uh, pedophilic terrorist and you know obviously it's a you know kind of a bit of a contradictory contradictory statement but that's the truth of the matter is that if you say that and same thing with hinduism if you say it's violent well they're going to come cut your head off so, because like I said, Hinduism, Islam, I said in other videos, just two sides of the same Luciferian coin. Don't want to get too off topic, but this cartoon again also shows the fact that Islam is no different than any other false religion like atheism or Roman Catholicism. And if you make, if you dare to draw a picture and blaspheme their, you know, because it may seem like they don't worship Muhammad, but if you dare to, you know, blaspheme him as if he's somehow, somehow divine, well, they're going to come cut your head off. Plain and simple. That's Islam for you. That's Muhammad. The uh, false pedophilic perverted, you know, incestuous, necrophilic, I mean, you name it. He was into cross-dressing. He was into all kinds of weird stuff. He was, uh, this is the thing about false religion, is they may have some elements that maybe look identical to uh, biblical truth, but in all in all reality, just a, a cheap, satanic knockoff and counterfeit. And these cartoons, regardless of the views of the artist, uh, accurately depict the false, satanic religion of Islam. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.